welcome to St. Matthew's Parking Cross Please for the uh, Cornham Arms Hotel Under 16 Division 3 League Final Replay between Kildallan and Coo-Holland. Both teams are out on the field, Coo-Holland's in their blue and white, Kildallan in their white and red. Hacky Smith from Killy Gary is the referee, he's out there in the centre of the field checking his watch at the moment. The four midfielders lined up in front of him. The whistle goes around the net. Hacky, very neat and complete as he fixes that in place, sets the watches, and the game is underway. All broken down, and it's Kildallan's uh, hands to turn, and he sends it away inside for Gary Dune in the chase. Eugene Keaty, the ball played way up there towards the corner. Donica Dunn sending it in to Connor Smith. Darren Degnan is after him. Connor Smith coming back, going to ground. Referee has called it up. Connor Smith down. The rain lashing down on these players in St. Matthew's Park in Cross Keys. A chance for Eugene Keating to uh, level up the match. This one he'll probably put the left foot from the right hand side of the field. We wait and see Connor Smith limping. And with just over two minutes played, that's sent high and sent over by Eugene Keating to level up the match at one point apiece. Mark Finnegan dressed all in red. He takes the Kildallan kick out. Kildallan in their more familiar white jersey with the red trim on this occasion. Cook Hollands in their blue with the white hoop and the yellow numbers. Mark Finnegan's kick. Dropping out towards the middle of the field. Stephen Crow got a touch to it, but he must have got a touch to a Coholland's player as well. And the free is taken and dropped inside. Mark Finnegan will advance on that one. Picking it up. Kicking it out the field. Stephen Crow breaking it down. Kieran Smith brought down by Dunica Dunn. Free to Kilgallen. And uh, Kieran Smith in need of some attention. Packy Smith just uh, noting the number of the Nicu Hollands forward. Paddy Degnan in there just checking as to how Kieran Smith is. He'll be okay. He's a tough young man. Emma Curry there as well. Kieran up to take the Kildallan free. <laughs> Killian Lynch was fouled and takes the Coo Holland free. Drops it inside. Connor Smith, a quick transfer for Eugene Keating. Eugene Keating now trying to make a room. Back to Connor Smith. Kicked by Connor Smith. High. Scored by Connor Smith. Two to one. In favour of Coo Holland's. The scoreboard about to be changed with uh, just over four and a half minutes played in the first half and Mark Finnegan preparing to kick out. Ball knocked down um, Stephen Crow. That was intercepted and uh, that's going towards the line on the far side. Michael Riley is there and Michael turning, sending the ball inside. Kevin Doonan picking it up for Kildallan. Out the field it comes now. Adrian Tate to send it back down again. Hecky Smith has uh, pulled it up.
That's going to drop long in towards the forward. Connor Smith releasing it inside. Couple of players on the ground. Kieran Smith going down in possession. Feeds it out to Kevin Doonan. Switching play across. Alan O'Brien for Coo Hollands. Kick blocked. A foot going in there. A free to kill Dallin. Now Shane Riley sets off. Ushing Bannon to his left. Shane Riley still going. Passing the ball inside. The shot was from Dara Dune and came back up the frame of the goal. Jason Curry, confronted by Adrian Tate. Shane Riley into Linda Hand. Off the right foot, curls it in. So Christopher Tully to take the kick out. Two one it remains as the kick out comes out towards the middle. Kildall and come attacking again. Killian Lynch there for Coo Hollands. That's going to be dropped way in there towards the uh, corner. Connor Smith. Donica Dunn coming across with Kieran Smith. Tackled now by Connor Smith. Kieran Smith clearing up along the line. Hacky Smith. Was he whistling it up? Shane Riley leaving the ball back there. Stephen Crow. But Crow's kick going astray. And Coo Hollands now with Eugene Keating are coming forward. Eugene Keating kicking it high, dropping it in down towards the end line. Evan Degnan across for Kildallan. Kieran Burden puts in the challenge. Pat McKiernan picking it up for Kildallan. Left foot in it further up the field. Shane Riley. Alan O'Brien will chase. Shane Riley will lay the ball off inside for Oshin Bannon. Oshin Bannon with the kick. Oshin Bannon's shot has deflected in off the upright. Kildallan. With Oshin Bannon popping that one over now, Christopher Tully being reminded that he must come out to the 20 meter line to take the kick out after a score. Eight and a half minutes played. It's all square in St. Matthew's Park in Cross Keys. That's good feeling by Stephen Crow of Kildallan. Playing it way up the wing. Adrian Tate going back, Jason Curry challenging, Adrian Tate way up along the line, Kevin Doonan goes back, Terry Keating there with them, Killian Lynch picking it up in midfield, feeding it up along the line, Evan Degnan and Kieran Byrne chasing after it, Evan Degnan picks it up. Cross field ball for Kildallan. That's picked up there now. Killian Lynch. Killian still going. Eugene Keating had made himself available. Killian Lynch turning onto the left foot. Sending it over. 3 2 for Coo Hollands. Almost 10 minutes played in the first half. The rain pelting down on St. Matthew's Park in Cross Keys. Slight delay. Now comes the kick out from Mark Finnegan. Michael O'Reilly trying to get away. Kevin Doonan is in there. Terry Keating in there too, Donica Dunn, but mishandling the slippery ball out over the sideline. Kildallan's line ball. 
too high for Jason Curry, Shane Riley running on, Alan O'Brien trying to get in the challenge. This is Stephen Crow back in in front of Shane Riley, trying to knock it in. Christopher Telly coming out, referee has called it up. So as the ball is eventually thrown back to Christopher Tully, sending the free out the field. Now Ushin Bannon takes the knockdown from Kieran O'Neill. Pat McKernan trying to transfer it. Lawrence Oko Bryan being indicted there for that one. Free to Kildallan. Shane Riley with the free. <laughs> Sending it all the way to square it up after 11 and a half minutes of play. Three points apiece. Christopher Tully to take the kick out. Out towards the centre of the field. Held by Stephen Crow of Kildallan. He drops that one way, way up towards the corner. Adrian Tate goes back. Will be challenged by Jason Curry. Kick rolling inside. Now, Alan O'Brien takes the pass from Michael O'Reilly. But it's Shane Riley of Kildallan. Fouled in there as Michael O'Reilly went in to try to nick it away. So Kildallan, Shane Riley will take the free. Off the left foot. Out to the left and wide. So with almost 13 minutes played, it's three points apiece. Christopher Tully to take the Cook Collins kick out. Again, the ball is punched down. And the linesman down there, two are left. Pick him up, Kieran, that's it, pick him up. All right, put away. To Collins' line ball taken by Killian Farley. And that's Eugene Keating's effort was blocked out of the line. Kieran Smith was in there. Dunnaka Dunn will take the kick. Dunnaka Dunn sent it up. A number of players, Kevin Doonan going down on it. Out it comes to Stephen Crow, confronted by Dunnaka Dunn. Way out onto the far side comes Adrian Tate and boots the ball way, way down the field. Killian Lynch. Kick back down, he'll go back and pick it up. No, he rolls it inside towards Dunnaka Dunn. Three Kildallan players around him. Dunnaka Dunn drops it in. Darren Degnan picks it up and clears it out the field. Coo Collins is very slippery there. This is Eugene Keating. See what I mean? Kieran O'Neill picked it up for Kildallan. Too high as it bounced for uh, Dara Doonan, who goes in after it again, knocks it on. Finan McGovern was trying to collect it. Jamie Fox sends the ball inside to Connor Smith, tackled by Darren Degnan. The ball breaking for Killian Lynch. Killian Lynch is kicked, has come back down off the post, and Kieran Byrne crashes it into the goal. Packy Smith writing it down. The goal will soon be registered. The scoreboard man who had uh, gone for shelter. Let the ball out. It's 1-3 to 3 after just 15 minutes of play. Co-Hollands, the leaders. 
As Mark Finnegan prepares to take the kick out for Kildallan. Ball knocked down and Dermot Fox for Coo Holland feeding it way up in there now to uh, Kieran Burns' corner again, being chased by Evan Degnan, brought down. And a free in. <laughs> this one to the left of the goal on our right. But whether it's to the right or whether it's to the left, it's uh, gone over. So Mark Finnegan to kick out from the 20 metre line, 1 4 0 3 in favour of Coo Hollands. Almost 17 minutes played. Out comes the kick. That's Stephen Crow for Kildallan. Surrounded in there by Coo Holland's players, but the, the Kildallan free. Kieran Smith. I'll trust the wing. Adrian Tate comes across. Clean it way, way down along the line. Kieran Smith for Kildallan. Kieran is fouled. And the yellow card was out. Kieran Smith brought down from behind. Referee Pikey Smith with uh, little option but pr to produce the yellow card. So it was a Smith on a Smith and it's Connor the recipient of the card, Peter with the, uh, Kieran with the free, Shane Riley close to the line, keeping it, the linesman was flagging. Referee Packy Smith. Listen lad, one man, who's the bandit up? That's the man. So Pikey Smith telling who can and who cannot be on the line. Kildallan win it from the line ball. That's Geomid Fox for Coo Hollands. Oshin Bannon across. Lawrence Ogle Bryan picking it up. Oshin Bannon laying the ball back for Kildallan. That's lobbed in high. Adrian Tate brings it down and Alan O'Brien picks it up and clears it out the field. Pat McKernan for Kildallan leaving it behind. Killian Lynch for Coo Hollands. Right up towards Connor Smith. Darren Dignan was with them. Connor doing the fouling. Kieran Smith to take the free. That's nicely tucked down and now Coo Hollands once again trying to set up an attack as the ball has played way up there. Darren Degnan was uh, fouled. So Kieran Smith goes back to take the Kildallan free. Game just got a wee bit scrappy at the moment.
Now Kieran Smith's going to drive along one. Way in towards his forwards. That's knocked down. Jason Curry will try and uh, tip the ball across. But that shot was picked up and blazed wide. Dara Dunan's shot. Christopher Tully's kick out and Packy Smith spotting some pushing. Shane Riley will take the Kildallan free. Just over 21 minutes played in this first half. Shane Riley kicks it high. Oh, that's marvellous fielding in there again by Adrian Tate. Laying the ball off. Kieran Smith, solid at centre back. And Kieran, very much in the wars. He's need he has needed quite a bit of attention because he has been given quite a bit of attention in this game so far. Kieran back on his feet and will take the free for Kilgallen. Again, playing it up towards uh, the left corner. Stephen Crow laying it across inside. Was that ball picked up the ground, ground by Alan O'Brien? A chance for Shane Riley to uh, pop this one over. 22 and a half minutes played. Shane, pretty accurate from this type of range and angle deadly accurate as he pops it over 1404 i make it with uh, 23 minutes played christopher tully to take the kick out the sun has come out as you can see the shadows lengthening on St. Batches Park in cross keys as the ball is broken down around the centre of the field. A Cucullins free. Killian Lynch dropping it inside. Darren Degnan tackled by Connor Smith. Still Darren Degnan, still being tackled. Releasing the ball. Kevin Doonan clearing it way, way out. Shane Riley being chased by Alan O'Brien. Shane Riley trying to break away. A goal between them. Almost 24 minutes played. Dermot Fox won't come up for him. Dermot goes back to pick it up. His kick is low. And to Finn McGovern back to Kevin Doonan. That's jabbed inside now to Killian Lynch. Now Eugene Keating in for Donica Dunn. Dunn being forced out wide. Still Donica Dunn, still being forced out wide. Sends that one to the right and sends it wide. Almost 25 minutes gone. There were some stoppages. 1 4 not 4 in favour of Kuhollands. The shadow of the stand and the bright sunshine, the combination will make life uh, difficult for the cameraman. Eugene Keating jabbing the ball inside, Mark Finnegan alert to it, coming out, clearing his lines for Kildallan, way out towards the centre. Now Finnegan McGovern. 
Oh, but uh, Shane Riley was calling for it, but Alan O'Brien was alerted to danger. Terry Keating and Kevin Doonan in the tangle. Killed Alan Free, which Shane Riley takes. Up towards Jason Curry, but that's a uh, callback by Packy Smith. We've played almost 26 minutes. Kieran Smith, the Kildallan captain. Killian Farley coming out with it. Killian Farley clearing the ball out the field. Now, Eugene Keating. Trying to get away from Kieran O'Neill, Michael Riley in there, Darren Degnan is there, and Darren Degnan is Kieran out on at the far side now. Stephen Crow, Stephen Crow, the long ball away up the corner. Adrian Tate going back, and Adrian Tate to uh, send it out towards the centre of the field. Killian is trying to get after it. Kieran O'Neill pulls on it. Now Finnan McGovern. That's a great point from Finnan McGovern. One four not five. Come on, Gilad! Twenty seven minutes about to tick over on my watch. As Christopher Tully's kick comes out towards the middle of the field, Stephen Crow for killed Allen. Finn and McGovern again, trying to knock it on. Referee has whistled it up. Don't knock it on. We'll leave the free. Adrian looking to see who is doing the moving. Again, covering back was Kieran Smith. Out for Kieran O'Neill. And the combination of the cousins, second cousins, may I add. This is Ashin Bannon. Lawrence Ogo Bryan goes across. And Lawrence Ogo clearing it up along the line. Kevin Doonan and Terry Keating. Kevin Doonan picks it up. Successfully switched back from the 40 to wing back in the drawing game. Shane Riley's kick is blocked down. Adrian Tate kicks it out towards the side. Oh, Dunica trying to get away. Put it down! Put it down! Adrian, come on! Put it down! Back, back here! Martin Lynch shouting out the instructions there. Here comes the Cullen free up to Dunica Dunn. Clearing way, way up along the line. Kevin Doon in the cross. Tackled by Terry Keating. Darren Dignan there to support. 29 minutes played as Dermot Fox has been chased by Finn and McGovern. Ball dropped inside. There's a free in. One four to not five. Is this to put three between them? One five. Hecky Smith has a look at the watch. I don't know, was that one or two was the signal he made? 30 minutes about to tick over on my watch. Mark Finnegan's kick. Keaton Smith underneath it. Now Pat McCairn and Fickle Dallin. Pat dropping along one inside. 
Edgian takes, takes the pass. Down the field it goes. Knocked down near the sideline. Pull that over the sideline. Packy Smith going to have a word with Donica Don. Now, if my memory serves me right, he is already on a yellow card. This time, will it be just a lecture? Yes, and a stiff lecture from Packy Smith. Alan O'Brien, tackled by Shane Riley as he picks it up. He is it out. Eugene Keating, tackled by Kieran Smith. Ball played back to Lawrence Hogue O'Brien. Oisin Bannon was putting in the challenge. Pat McKernan grabbing it, sending it inside for Kildallan. Jason Curry shot to stop the comes to Shane Riley. And Shane Riley has tossed it over the bar. 1 5 no 6. Almost 32 minutes have ticked over on my watch. As Christopher Tully prepares to take the kick out. Justin down in the centre and Stephen Crow for Kildallan. Playing a low one and nicely picked up by Shane Riley as Alan O'Brien puts in the challenge. Oh, that's good feeling back there by Lawrence Oak O'Brien. Good blocking down by Oshin Bannon. Oshin Bannon now being chased by Dunnaker Dunn. Killian Lynch there as well. Patrick Hernan. Will he pick it up for Kildallan? Off the left hand for Kieran O'Neill. Oh, great kick from Kieran O'Neill, the wing back. Seven points for Kildallan. One in it at the moment. One five. That's eight points to seven. Thirty-three minutes about to tick over. And there goes the half-time whistle from referee Peggy Smith. And so at half time, I make it 1 5 to 0 7. Although Kildallan are not being credited at the moment, now they are. That's the half time score in St. Matthew's Park in, in Cross Keys. We'll have a look to the crowd and then we'll come back to you with the story and the pictures of the second half. Smith about to get the second half underway. Danica Dunn lining up in midfield where he had played a lot of that first half. Switched with Michael Riley. Danica Dunn for Ku Hollands. Terry Keating would appear to be playing over on that right hand side of the field in the corner for this second half. That ball is dropped inside. Evan Degnan comes across. 
as the fielder comes to Holland with Dunica Dunn about to bring it back in again. Now the chance. The chance has been sent wide. So the score remains as it was at half time. 1 5 to Coholland, not 7 to Kildallan. Mark Finnegan preparing to kick out for the Kildallan lads. Not a very high one. Eugene Keating is there, Killian Lynch is there, Kieran O'Neill after, Pat McKernan is there as well. Free sent across into the centre now. Who will have break for Connor Smith? Connor Smith taking a nap but releasing the ball to Eugene Keating. Rolls it out. They're still paying on inside. Darren Begnan's clearance coming out the field. Diamond Fox chasing back with Finn and McGovern. Foul on Diamond Fox. Takes the free quickly. <laughs> now Donica Dunn. Into the middle, but uh, that easily cut out. And Kildale with Jason Curry now come attacking. Dropping the ball inside for Shane Riley. Goal chance on here as he plays the ball to the left. Darren Duna's shot is uh, picked up in there on the line. It's a penalty. I thought earlier Shane Riley might go for the shot and steady pass it to Darren Duna. For a second, they lost the momentum, but then the ball picked off the ground on the goal line. Shane Riley with the penalty. Here comes the kick. And it's saved in there by Christopher Tully. Shane Riley picks it up and crashes it in. Following up his shot that was saved, it's 1 7 to Kildallan, it's 1 5 to Co Holland. We stayed three minutes in the second half. Out comes the kick out. Kieran Smith. Laying the ball inside for Pat McKernan. Pat McKernan's kick taking a deflection inside. That's gone out now for Shane Riley out there to pick it up. Passes it in and Stephen Crow's shot. It's uh, snapped inside. Jason Curry's kick is blocked down and Dunica Dunn is back there to pick it up and to clear it out. A couple of players going to the ground. The free is going to Holland's way. Out it comes. That's coming towards the sideline. That's going out over the sideline. Would have done, but for the intervention by Emmett Curry. Nevertheless, the line ball will stand. Kim Smith's kick. Killian Lynch back defending. That's a Collins free, and the referee showing a yellow card to Kieran Smith. Jackie Smith writing down, I'm sure he won't have to tell him how to spell it. Here comes the free for Coohollan. Darren Degnan fielding well, but was fouled in there. 
Kelly Keating is in the full forward line in this second half and playing on Darren Degnan. Now Donica Dunn. Michael Riley chasing. Kieran Smith is up there. Terry Keating is there. Packy Smith calling for the ball, going to throw it up between a couple of players. Between Michael Riley and Kieran Smith. Pat McKernan for Kildallan. Lawrence Oak O'Brien battling hard. But Stephen Crow picking it up for Kildallan, feeding the ball inside. That's nicely taken in there by Adrian Tate. Quickly out there to Dunnaka Dunn. Kevin Doonan will chase. Dunnaka Dunn's kick half back by Sheen Bannon. Kieran O'Neill, of course, there. And Kieran O'Neill's kick down along the line. Another stoppage in play. I heard the whistle from Pecky Smith. Killian Lynch with the free for Two Hollands. Dropping it in on Kim Smith, feeling there. Three out, two Kildallan. The Bullens selectors issuing in some instructions to the players. This is Terry Keating passing the ball inside. Now Michael Riley trying to hook it across. Eugene Keating now for Killian Lynch. Kicked by Killian Lynch. Wide. Now Killian thought that it had gone over. So Mark Finnegan to take the kick out. Just over eight minutes played in the second half. Come on, get the front of the kick out, then you're back. Ball broken down. Dunica down the hill. And Dunica will take the Cullen's free. Packy Smith in there to keep a watchful eye on things. That's curling out towards the end line. Eugene Keating and Kieran Smith after it. The ball knocked out over the end line. Signalled wide. Kick out to Kildallan and Mark Finnegan. Now I think Cuchullens are making some changes. Here comes the kick out. Coo Holland's coming on to the attack. The bounce of the ball. They're beating Kieran Byrne and Evan Degden, getting it out to Stephen Crow. Stephen Crow drops it way, way inside. Ushin Bannon being chased back there. Still Ushin Bannon shot. What a score by Ushin Bannon. Crashing it to the net. Two seven one five. Kildallan 
five points in front, ten and a half minutes into the second half. Shane Riley. Shane dropping it in, but sending it to the left. So Christopher Tully to take the kick out for Kuhollands. Ball knocked down, Killian Lynch picking it up, Killian Farley is there to support him but he decides not to use him and sends the ball out of play but it must have taken a deflection because the kick is going to Cullen's way. Killian Lynch, nicely inside. Connor Smith to Dunica Dunn, pushed by Stephen Crow. So Patty Smith trying to spin him around to take the number. Free to Co Hollands. Trailing 2 7 to 1 5. I'm sure Sean Smith and company will feel they need a few scores. They've pulled one back. Killian Lynch is free. 2716 it is now. Twelve and a half minutes played in the second half. Out it comes, ball broken down around the middle once more. Killian Lynch, very active around that se section of the field. This is Donica Dunn. Donica feeding it way up towards the corner. Too strong is it for Kieran Byrne. Mark Finnegan to take the kick out. <laughs> Some delay as the kick out is about to be taken. Free to Cook Collins. Killian Lynch putting it down. There was times when I thought the art of uh, free taking from the ground was going to disappear, but thankfully lately it's uh, coming back into the game a bit. That one has drifted left and drifted wide. 2716. 14 and a half minutes played in the second half. Kildallan, the leaders. Mark Finnegan's kick out. Ball knocked down. Terry Keating passing it inside. Evan Dignan back there near the end line. Ryan Launders was in challenging. He was the player that came in a few minutes ago, was introduced in the drawing game as well. Cook Hollands adding some height to their attack in there because the Allen were uh, feeling some very high balls back there in the defence. 
Mark Finnegan's kick. Dropping out. Stephen Crow of Kildallan. Slipping away from Eugene Keating. That's nicely collected by Alan O'Brien. Stephen Crow for Kildallan. He'll drop that one in. Adrian Tate goes across. And Adrian Tate to clear the ball way up the field. Nicely taken for Gildallan by Oisin Bannon. Oisin Bannon trying to get away from the O'Brien, Dallin and Lauren Zog. They're not related. Just helping each other out. Pat McKiernan loses out. Killian Lynch loses out. But Coo Hollands get the free. Killian Farley. Is he going to take it? No, he's going to leave it. Adrian Tate will take it. Packy Smith will have a word with Pat McKernan. As Lauren Sogo Bryan tries to get the ball upfield, Oshin Bannon now for Kildallan. Being challenged there by Connor Smith. Connor Smith inside now to Killian Lynch. Kevin Doonan in challenging. Free to Coo Hollands. Just over 17 minutes played in the second half. Four points between them. Dropped over by Killian Lynch to cut it back to T. 2717. 17 and a half minutes about to tick over. Scoreboard now about to be changed. Gonna be in the first time, come on. As Mark Finnegan's kick out. Again, I heard a toot of Packy Smith's whistle. Cook Hollins might be thinking about bringing in Emmett Fox. Killian Lynch. Dunica Dunn takes the free out. Now Connor Smith. Darren Dignan chasing. Still Connor Smith. Lays the ball off inside now to Eugene Keating. Now to Dunica Dunn. Dunica Dunn is brought down. Another yellow card. This one is for Stephen Crow. Sean Smith just checking on the well being of his players. A very tidy defender in his day. His son Connor, a very astute attacker. This is a kick from Killian Lynch that has gone over the bar. 2 7 1 8. 19 and a half minutes played in the second half. <laughs> As Mark Finnegan prepares to take the kick out. And Coo Hollins gaining possession in around the middle of the field. Feeding the ball nicely inside now. Connor Smith trying to get away. Darren Dignan gets a touch on it and Darren Dignan following it up. Laying the ball up across the middle of Shane Riley. Killian Lynch will chase back. Still Shane Riley as he drops that one inside. Jason Curry. The kick is blocked. Curry trying to get to it again. Dara Doonan. Oh, 
Ball handled on the ground and the free out. Now Killian Lynch to Lawrence O'Brien. His kick going astray and Kieran O'Neill to Oshin Bannon for Kildallan. 2 7 1 8. That's the score line. Dermot Fox. Dermot for Coo Holland. Up it goes. Connor Smith moving way out the field, winning uh, quite a few balls that's played in towards him. Kevin Doonan collecting and clearing for Kildallan. Stephen Crow will pick it up. It's very finely balanced with 21 minutes played. Oh, wonderful feeling by Adrian Tate. Out to Danica down. Up the field it goes again. Darren Degnan's kick is blocked down. Terry Keating picks it up, feeds it off inside. Kieran Bourne is after it. Kieran O'Neill is there too. Picked up by Kildallan's Kieran O'Neill. Tackled all the way. Ryan Laundrie's there as well as the ball is cleared away down the line. Killian Lynch, he's got a marvellous engine, covers so much ground. Oh, the bounce beating Evan Degnan. Ryan Laundrie plays the ball off inside. Now Kieran Bourne will switch it right across in. Mark Finnegan bats it out. Connor Smith picks it up. And Connor Smith has sent it over the bar. 1 9. There's a point in it. 2 7 to 1 9. 22 and a half minutes played in the second half. Kildallan we're going to introduce Barry Brady there thirsty work Packy down here beneath us now Barry Brady plays at wing back let's see if uh, that's where he's going to go in Mark Finnegan's kicked Locked down. Stephen Crow picks it up. I think Barry might be up on the forwards as Adrian Tate gets the ball up to Killian Lynch. Pat McKernan is after him. Shane Riley is not far away. Kieran O'Neill has he knocked it out over the sideline? Coo Holland's line ball on the 45. Killian Lynch drops it in. Will it fall for Connor Smith? Connor now trying to find a colleague that's dropped in collected by Mark Finnegan tackled by Terry Keating but fouled Mark Finnegan to take the free out 24 minutes played in the second half 2-7-1-9 one point between them that's Killian Farley for Coohollands Kieran O'Neill didn't quite hold. Killian Lynch picks it up. Killian Lynch now for Coo Hollands. Rolling the ball across to Eugene Keating. Eugene Keating now trying to find a way through. Eugene Keating kicks it high. It's uh, fisted out. It's a 45 to Coo Hollands. Killian Lynch will take the 45. Let's see what happens. 25 minutes played in the second half. One point separating them in this replay as uh, Darren Degnan coming out with it for Kildallan. Way out the field. That's uh, Alan O'Brien for Coo Hollands. 
to Killian Lynch. So much goes to Killian Lynch in midfield. In it goes now to Ryan Launders. Two hops. Three out. Kins. That's nicely taken by Dermot Fox. Support from Killian Lynch. Inside it goes now for Connor Smith. Killed Allen trying to close him down. Kevin Doonan is there. Connor Smith kicks it. But the referee has whistled it up. A chance for Ku Hollands to level it up. There was a stage in the second half when Kildallan went into, I think it was something like a five point lead. But uh, Ku Hollands came back at them and uh, grinding their way towards an equaliser. It's all square here in St. Matthew's Park in Kirk Keys with 27 minutes as Dunnock had done sent that one over 27 gone in the second half 2-7 to 110. If it's level, when Packy Smith deems that there's enough time played, then there will be some extra time. Can either of these sides get a winner? Kevin Doonan's free for Kildallan, collected by Stephen Crow. Dunlick a done back challenging. Crow picks it up. Up towards the corner. Oh, Adrian Tate has been magnificent over the two games. Killian Farley supports him. Now the clearance is long, way up along the line. Darren Degnan keeping it in, but only to Cullen's advantage as Eugene Keating gets it inside for Connor Smith. Connor Smith going forward. Connor Smith now. Will he shoot? He does, but he sends it wide. The normally very accurate Connor, but uh, there's some tired legs out there. Played in an under 14 final, in an under 16 semi final, and then the final, all in a very short space of time. Now in the replay, Stephen Crow drops the ball inside, but he's there again, Mr. Dependable, Adrian Tate, out to Killian. Farley. Killian Farley now booting the ball long up the field. Now the chance that the ball is laid inside. And it's broken. Kieran Smith gets it out. Shane Riley. 29 minutes gone in the second half. The next score could well win this game. Finnan McGovern laying the ball off for Shane Riley. Shane Riley playing it out. Pat McKernan. Pat thought about the pass, thinks about the shot, sends it in. Christopher Tully is there. Tully turns out the field. A free to Coo Holland. One of the Cucullin players down injured and in need of attention. And uh, Christopher Tully has uh, got more tricks to his trade than just being a goalkeeper or a forward. He's out there administrating some medical aid as well, shall we put it. We're in time added on. Is there to be a winner in time added on? Hacky Smith restarts the watch and will restart the game. 
Cuvalence free. Up it comes. That bounces away from Connor Smith and from Kieran Smith. And Connor Smith dips in to pick it up. Eugene Keating to his left. Connor Smith is fouled. Donica Dunn, or will it be Killian Lynch? Killian Lynch is going to take the free. Or has he decided against it? Donica Dunn. Can he send it all the way? Here comes the kick from Donica Dunn. It's got plenty of height. It's got the accuracy. It's got the lead for Ku Holland. 111 to 27. 31 and a half minutes gone on my watch. Can Kildallan respond? Donica Dunn releasing the ball back. Geomid Fox. Darren Degnan is going back. Clearing the ball out. A Kuhulan player seemed to go to ground from a, a bit of a nudge just a little earlier. They're playing on as Kieran Byrne and Kieran O'Neill battle for on the far side and Kieran Byrne now bringing it along the ground. Still Kieran Byrne being chased back there. Kieran Smith is there. Kieran Smith picks it up for Kildallan. Jabs it out the field to Kevin Doonan. Kevin Doonan will kick it long. But that's collected there by Dermot Fox. To Killian Farley. Drops it in. Kieran Smith for Kildallan. We played 32 and a half minutes in the second half. Alan O'Brien. Kieran O'Neill of Kildallan. Killian Farley now, who was given the task of tracking this lad, Shane Riley. Shane going forward. Shane with the shot. But with the wide. 33 minutes played. Packy Smith, a long, hard look at the watch. Is it to be heartbreak for Kildallan and joy for Ku Holland? Packy Smith waits, blows the final whistle, and Ku Holland by a point. That Donica Dunn free. That put the boys in blue and white ahead. They're celebrating. Kildallan are devastated. Just one point between them after two very, very hard games of football. So the captains being called over for the presentation, Alan O'Brien is the uh, captain of the Coo Hollands team, Kieran Smith, the Kildallan captain. Most of all, I'd like to congratulate both Coo Hollands and Kildallan on an excellent game of football, and I'd like to put your hands together and give them a round of applause. Anyone that came here this evening didn't get value for the five euros, well, I don't know where they were going to get it. Um, I'd like to compliment uh, Niall Lynch here, who I say done a total amount of work. He was down and in the skin last Wednesday evening, and the things didn't run too well, but he has a bit of success here this evening. Um, Jimmy Carroll was involved with him or not, but he's here this evening too. So there's more to do. 
I'd like to present a trophy here to Stephen O'Brien. Out of the prize, we gotta write this down. Maddie Cairn representing the cup to Alan O'Brien, the captain. You know, before, before we leave, we just have a few words from Alan, and we have his name right there, Alan O'Brien. Well, I'd just like, first of all, to thank Niall, Martin, and Charles for training us throughout the whole year. It paid off eventually. And <laughs> thank the people for bringing us to the games throughout the year. And I'd also like to thank Kildallan for a good game of football. Three cheers for Kildallan. Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Um, I want to thank you, Colin, for two great games. I knew there was only to be scored when it at the end. I want to thank the four men signed names of the supporters. They're the best kind of supporters in County Calvin, and I can tell that to anyone. I want to thank Paddy Deglin, Emma Corey, Wayne O'Grady, and Barry O'Neill for sending us to the air. And don't worry, boys, we'll have the championship. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you all very much, and stay at home. So, the celebrations are about to begin for Coo Holland. Those youngsters have been quite successful at under 12, at under 13, at under 14, now at under 16, and uh, a lot of credit goes to the backroom staff, Sean Smith and uh, Martin Lynch and uh, Niall, all those and indeed Fergal Kenny had done some great work with them at under 12 and under 13 and under 14 as well that's what the scene is like in a victorious dressing room with that from St Matthew's Park in Cross Keys we'll wrap it up and say congratulations Coo Hollands commiserations Kildallan Sloan August Banner <laughs>